Hi, it's Dan Becker from Keller Williams in Champaign. This is my what is a short sale video for homeowners that might owe more on their house than it's worth. So let's get into it here. Take a look at this uh, short sale example here. We have an example of a person who purchased a house in 2006 for $150,000, borrowed 95% of the purchase amount, and they ended up with a loan value uh, at the start of their, uh, when they bought the house of 142.5. And then let's say that they want to sell it here in 2011. Current value has gone down about 15%, which is very believable in our market. Some markets are down far more than that, but in, that's pretty reasonable in our market. So right now it's worth 127.5. By this time they will have, after about 60 payments, they will have paid it down to $131,756 would be their current balance. Um, it's going to cost them about 7.5%, that's $9,500 and change to close. That'd be for marketing, uh, title insurance, various things like that. So this person is going to have a negative net equity of $13,819. Uh, what are they going to do? Here are some of their options. Let's go over that. One thing they could do is they could just bring money to the closing. Um, they could let the house go to foreclosure, but it's going to destroy their credit. They could do a short sale. And they could do an alternative sales strategy, which I won't talk too much about here in this video. Or they could just stay in the house. Now let's kind of go through those. If you don't have the 13000 and change to bring to the closing, well, that's not an option. If you, if you have lost your job or have some kind of medical or financial emergency and you're not going to be able to continue to make the payments, uh, or maybe you've been transferred out of the area, you can't stay in the house, so that wouldn't be an option. Um, if you don't want to destroy your credit, then foreclosure would be a terrible option. Surprisingly, about 70% of the people who go to uh, who, whose homes go to foreclosure never even tried to sell them, list them, or do anything with a short sale, which is kind of uh, kind of crazy. Uh, foreclosure is really a terrible option. So you're down. We got we got two more strategies. Alternative strategy is kind of interesting, but you know they're not for everybody. It might be a good option. In fact, it might be better than a short sale for some people. But if if you don't want to kind of stick with the property for a long period of time, maybe use it as an investment. Uh, an alternative strategy might not be for you. That kind of leaves short sales. So let's talk about specifically what a short sale is. Back to the same example. In this case, a short sale is when the bank agrees to take less than the amount owed. In this case, you remember, they were owed 131,756. Well, if the person doesn't have uh, the, the $13,819 to bring to the closing, and they have some kind of a financial hardship, uh, the bank might be convinced to take less than the amount owed. In this case, maybe they would be, could be negotiated uh, down to 100, take 117,937. That would basically be the current value minus the uh, closing costs. Maybe they could be, uh, it could could be negotiated that they would take that as uh, as full and final payment. So, the a um, uh, couple key points. Uh, negotiate uh, short sale process. What is a short sale? Basically, comes down to it's the negotiation process that you go through with the bank to get them to take less than the amount owed on the bank. It can take uh, three to seven months, so it's kind of a lengthy process. There's no guarantee of success. On average, about half of short sales don't get approved. There are other uh, short sale processors that are getting very high percentage rates uh, of their short sales approved, so it's important to pick a good partner. Uh, short sales certainly have a negative impact on, on your credit. It's better than foreclosure, but it'll probably say something like, uh, amount settled on your credit report or maybe settled for less, um, uh, which is which is better, but it's still a, going to be a little bit of a hit on your on your credit report. Um, you see, usually a financial hardship is required, something maybe medical, maybe somebody got transferred, uh, somebody, uh, a death in the family, like if you had two wage earners and one of them passed away, uh, that would certainly be a financial hardship. Or if you lost your job, something like that. If it's just a matter of uh, you made a bad investment, that's probably not going to qualify. And then the other thing is that the uh, with a short sale, the deficiency, that's the amount that you that the bank didn't get paid, is usually significantly reduced or waived by the lender. If you do a foreclosure, that doesn't happen. You still 
the uh, homeowner is tagged with that uh, deficiency and the, the lender can come back and get them uh, for a fairly significant period of time. So that is a little bit of information about what a short sale is. I hope that that was helpful. Love to visit with you more and you can stay up to date on all my latest uh, short sale videos at cishortsales.com. Have a great day and thanks for watching the video.